Hey guys, it's Angel B here and in today's video I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to create custom furniture with chisel and bits and little tiles. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this park bench. I am sat on it currently, it has some cute little floral on the top and yeah this is done with dark oak but I'm going to be showing you how to do it with oak just so it's easier to see and I've used a black terracotta for the posts of the chair. So yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. So basically the first thing that we need is the base of the park bench that you want to use. So I'm just gonna recreate it over here. You can do it any size that you would like. So the first thing I did, as you can see, I went up three blocks. So that is what I'm gonna be doing here. I went up three and then I went in two. I went up three like this and then I went out one, like just like this. You can copy along if you like, hopefully that is, yeah that is correct. And then I kind of created this almost bow effect. So I went one, two, one, so I went across two and then up one, just like this and then I did the same on this side. So as you can see, I am basically just mirroring this pattern, just like that. And then I'm going to just make this so it is drawn region and then connect the two at the top together, just like that. And then once we have done that, that's basically the side of the park bench complete. So I'm just going to move it um, so it's more in the middle like this. So it's two away from each side and more in the middle. So two away from each side. What about the front? Yeah. Okay, once we have done that, then we need to create the front of the park bench. So I have done this two wide like this, and then I'm gonna draw a region and do it on this side, just like that. And then did a gap of one, and then I did the same on this side so we want to draw the region like this and then we want to go back and i have done this three wide not two so we're gonna like this this is the very front of the pack bench then i'm going to take the black terracotta and just create little like stumps in the wood this is basically just to support like that and then we're gonna do the back of the chair and this is where I went up like this, like that, and then I did it two up again, and then another gap, and then two up again. And then basically you just want to mirror this design on the other side, like that, and then we're going to connect the two sides, just like that. So then we basically have our chair. And then at the back, we're going to take the black terracotta again. And you see here, we've kind of done it so it supports it at the back. So we're going to do that here. Like that. So that is basically our chat finished. You could leave it like this if you wanted, but what I am going to do is I'm going to extend the sides just like one more. I just like the effect it gives. And it still stays within the two sides like this. And then the only thing I have done differently on these two is I have done this floral at the top. I can show you how to do that. Um, what you'll need is you'll need a chiseled leaf and a chiseled wool. I'm just gonna use yellow and white for this. This will create the little flowers. So what you wanna do is I'm going to create the flowers first. Like this, just kind of like spread them out. You can do one in the back if you wanted. And then 
I'm just gonna put some white around it to kind of like act like petals. And then you want to take the leaves and basically just connect them all together. It's just that simple. <laughs> Make, make sure you don't do it perfectly straight. You want to kind of wrap it around like this. Oh, the deer is in the way. And then just kind of like touch it up, I guess. Add some random leaves, places if you want. And then you could easily like bring it down onto the back completely or even add some leaves around these bits. But yeah, that's pretty much how to do a pack bench. So yeah, that's basically it. The way you can make it sit, I did that in my other episode. You just take the little recipe, select this corner, select this corner. And then you want to take the little recipe where it says none, make that chair, save, use the little wrench. Put it in there, click craft, and it'll give you a multi-tile structure. And then you can use the arrow keys to turn it around, and then you can just like place it, just like this. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you would like to see more of these tutorials, please leave in the description a type of furniture or something that you would like to see me recreate. So yeah, be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed, be sure to subscribe to get my latest videos, hit the notification button to be notified when I upload, it is going to be a lot more frequently. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!